Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to code a music player using M5 Go. So when I press button A, it will play music 1. Then when I press button A again, it will, pre uh, it will play a uh, music 2. Then pressing it again will play music 1 and then 2 and then 1 and 2 and so on and so forth. Let's try it out. So when I press music A, So if you have three musics, you can do the same thing, which means that uh, pressing A will play music one and then two and then three and so on and so forth. Now let's look at the code. So first of all, uh, the label, just drag a label to the simulator. Then after that, I set the, uh, the uh, text of the label, the font as well as the color. Then I create these two variables called volume and music. How do I create variables in, in the uh, M5 Go? I go to variables and then I press on this create variables. So I set the volume and the music to one each. Then after that, I have these uh, two blocks of code here. These are the function. How do I create functions? I go to function here and then this one. Now, the first function is uh, basically the uh, tone for music 1 and uh, the second function is music 2. Now, why do we use function in coding? Now, it's because, okay, now, what is function uh, in the first place? Function is a block of organized reusable code that is used to perform a single related functions, uh, related action, and functions provide better modularity. So function is a block of code that does a specific function, that does a specific job, and it is uh, always good to use function in coding uh, because uh, it is always good to uh, separate uh, spe uh, specific codes that does certain things from the rest of the code. Okay, then uh, then after that we go to the events event to uh, drag out uh, the button uh, the button control. So button A pressed. So if then we use the logic if is under logic over here, and we compare the variable music with one. So if the music is one, then. Uh, we play music, we call the function called music1 which is basically here and then after that we set the variable music to 2 so that the next time when we press button A it will play music2 okay then how about music uh, then how about button B and C button B and C uh, are intended to uh, increase as well as decrease the volume of the music which will be in the next video thank you for watching bye bye